Croatia, always a terrific atmosphere guaranteed for this Balkan derby. Croatia nine points clear of their East European neighbours in second place, three points behind Belgium. Jose Mourinho, the Chelsea manager, amongst those watching from the stand. And initially, it was Serbia on top. Alexander Mitrovic striking the upright inside the first six minutes. He may well think he should have scored. And then ten minutes later, a shot from Tosic was saved and Mitrovic couldn't quite get there. Just a stud's length away from sliding it in at the far post. So they only won two of their first seven games, both at home against Scotland and Wales. Into the second half, and a fabulous goal to give Croatia the lead. Mario Mandzukic took it brilliantly, but you have to give as much credit to Dario Serna for the pass as you do to the Bayern Munich man for the finish. There's the ball from Serna, Mandzukic onside, excellent first touch, and slots it away to make it 1-0. The lead, though, didn't last for long. 14 minutes to be exact. Alexander Mitrovic's first international goal. The Anderlecht man rising highest from the free kick. That's a terrific header. Well worth seeing again. And above his marker. In the last 20 minutes, it all got very scrappy. Nemanja Matic carded for that challenge. Stan Ivanovic, best pleased either, but I think Matic could have too many complaints about the decision. And that wasn't the brightest thing to do either. Two yellows equal a red. Two in the space of seven minutes. And we were playing 11 against 10. Now, if you want to see one of the worst tackles of the season, albeit somewhat early stage of the season, then keep watching. Just have a look at this. Josip Simonic, an absolute shocker, taking out Suleimani. And Simonic, inevitably a red card, he's third for his country. He was a player, you might remember, who got those famous three yellow cards just out by Graham Pohl in the 2006 World Cup. It would have been probably an injustice if either side had won it. Petrovic with a, a late header save by Tetikosa, finished one apiece in Belgrade.